ever wondered who is the best team in the world? Well, wonder no more because we've got a global Super League database for Football Manager 2023, which will help you find out just who is the best team in the world. That's right, there is a fantastic database that you can download right now on the Sort It Out SI website, which puts over a thousand teams in 10 tiers, 51 leagues, in one single global Super League system throughout, basically it uses Luxembourg and puts everyone from the world all in one league system. 10 tiers, one cup, 51 leagues, over a thousand teams. It is incredible. You can download it by just simply clicking on the download button right there and it will download an FMF file which you simply put in your editor data folder and that is it. That is how simple it is to get this global Super League system into your game. I'll show you exactly what you do right now. So this is what your editor data folder will look like. And this is what your download folder will look like. You simply take the super, go global Super League file and put it in your editor data folder. So it's within Football Manager on your documents right there. Simple editor data, how you install all databases. It's that simple and straightforward. Uh, and then what you need to do is you need to go into game, which will look a little bit something like this. That's my Pentagon challenge right there in the background. You can follow that on my own channel. Uh, but what you need to do is when you set up a game, you go to your own database, you set database at the top and simply untick everything you don't need. So you need the license fix and everything. And then just click the Global Super League. It's in Luxembourg. It's quite clear which one it is. Click that. It's advanced setup. You don't need to load any other leagues apart from the Luxembourgian system, which is the global Super League system. I'll show you that in a second when the database is loaded. And obviously there are a thousand teams, 10 tiers, 50 plus leagues, all in this system. It might take a little bit of uh, time to load up because it's a massive behemoth of a league system. Uh, but you can get rid of England off there. You don't need that anymore. You just need global league uh, all the way down to level eight, which is the 10th tier. Uh, if you can see here, you just show Premier League, Championship, League One, all the way down to League Eight. And there you go. You set the game up as normal. You go, start your game, and we'll have a look what it looks like, and then simulate a full season. So the game has loaded. You can see here, that's Blackburn, because I'm a Blackburn fan. Uh, you can have a look at the Premier League teams first, though. So we've got plenty of sides from around Europe and a couple from South America as well, uh, if you look through the system. So there is uh, two leagues in the Championship, four in League One, all the way down to eight leagues in League Eight. Uh, so we're going to start unemployed, have a quick look through the game, and then simulate through a season and see who wins the Global Super League and the Global Super Cup. Okay, the game has loaded, and here we go. We can have a look at the Global Super League. So we'll just have a quick look at the leagues in focus. Here is the Super League. You've got Ajax, Arsenal, Etico, Barcelona, Dortmund. You can read them all. I'm not going to read them to you. You've got Flamengo and Palmeiras from South America. The rest are all European teams. Uh, if we go down to the Championship, it's a similar story. We've got Boca, Chivas, Corinthians, Fluminense, Internacional. There's more South American teams coming through. Uh, river on there as well and then championship group b as well a bit more of a flavor you get further down the system more uh, teams from different so there's al nasa for example in league one uh, different nations around the world depending on their actual level will go in at different levels throughout uh, the league system you can see down league one league two, we'll go all the way through but we, we don't need to look at all of the teams but you can see there's a, a varied mix of teams in each of the leagues you'd be going all around the globe uh, to basically find out uh, who is the best team in the world. Uh, so we have a quick look at um, the other competition. So we'll just go through and um, find the Super Cup as well. We probably could have found it a quicker way, but there we go, the Global Super Cup as well, which basically jump, uh, chucks everyone in from every league. Uh, if we go and see where they all join in, uh, view teams. Uh, you can see that all the Premier League sides uh, and the Championship sides start in the third round. Uh, so do the League One. You get down to League Two, that's in the third round, and then some... You go into League 3, you start going to the second round. Uh, the further down the league system you go, you'll obviously start seeing the first round pop up as where they enter. Uh, but you have to go all the way down to League 6, I believe it is. No, League 5 have got some first round as well. And then all of League 6 start in the first round uh, as well, depending on, I'm guessing, where they finished in previous seasons. Uh, league 7 and League 8 all entering the first round as well. Uh, but that's the Global Super Cup. Uh, we've got the Premier League. We've got every We're basically going to simulate through a season now. Uh, and see how things develop. Okay, we have simulated through a full season. Let's have a look at who wins the Global Premier League. And it's Manchester City, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, but it's not really surprising that English teams are a little bit overpowered, given the financial situation in the league currently. But Man City and Liverpool, the top two. Real Madrid third. 
Then it's Arsenal, Chelsea, Spurs 8th, Manchester United down in 14th. Uh, the highest placed South American side is Flamengo in 13th. Palmeiras have been relegated, though, from 24th position, which is a little bit disappointing. But uh, Benfica, Ajax, Sevilla all going down as well. Man City champions. Uh, the Championship A, it's Monaco and Newcastle that were going up, uh, just beating out Leipzig. Uh, Chivas, River, Hertha Berlin, Fluminense. It's quite a South American flavour for the relegation zone. Uh, Leverkusen and Wren getting promoted from Championship B. Again, another couple of South American sides going down. In League One, uh, do we see any... No, it's English teams winning League One. So West Ham won League One A. Uh, League One B is won by Aston Villa. This is, this is showing that... The further down you get, the more overpowered English teams are. Wolves and Palace getting promoted from League One C. Leeds and Everton from League One D. There's, there's a mix of teams behind them, but it's the English sides that look like they're dominating the lower leagues. Well, I say the lower leagues, the, the middle leagues, essentially. Uh, not winning that one. Fulham won uh, League Two C. And, ah, there we go. No English teams promoted from League Two D. Fantastic. Were there actually any in there? No. That might be why. Uh, if we have a look, who won the Global Super Cup there? We'll go via Manchester City because I assume they won it, but they haven't. Uh, if we go into their competitions page, they were knocked out in the sixth round by Barcelona. Who did they win? No, they didn't. They got to the final and lost to Real Madrid 2-1. This is the Global Super Cup final. But Lewandowski scored. No, he didn't. Sorry, Pedri scored. Vinicius Junior and Jorge getting the goals for Real Madrid in the first half. So Real Madrid won. Nobody won the double. That's good. Uh, who got through to the semi-finals and quarters? So Stuttgart and Arsenal got through to the semi-finals. That's pretty good on their behalf. Uh, quarterfinals, Al-Shabaab, Flamengo, Sporting, Empoli. Let's have a look at Al-Shabaab um, from Saudi Arabia. They're in League 3. They promoted from League 3 with Forest and got to the quarterfinals of the Global Super Cup. That is really impressive uh, from them. Um, so if we look... Uh, do we need, I don't think we've got any more to look at in the Global Super League. We'll have a look, speaking of uh, Saudi clubs. We'll have a look at Al Nazar as well and see how Ronaldo's got on. It's not looking like they've got promoted. So 11th in League 1A, uh, losing out to the likes of West Ham and Sporting Braha. Um, yeah, Ronaldo's not carried them through to promotion from the third, third tier. Uh, let's have a look at Blackburn, my side. They have finished second in the League 5 Group C behind IFK Gothenburg. Uh, just, oh, look at the points, 72, 71, 71, 71. What a tight league. It looks like Blackburn, Pip, Bari and Juarez on the last day to get promoted up to League 4. Uh, but that is, that's how Blackburn have done. If you, if you want to have a look through how your clubs do, download the database and have a look. It's incredibly in-depth. There's so many different tiers. If you want to start out in League 8 and work your way all the way to the Global Premier League, please do and let us know in the comments how you get on. Uh, because it's such a massive structure full of th a thousand teams. It's pretty incredible that this has been created. It must have taken a lot of time. And if, the, if you check out the thread on the Sort It Out SI download page, there are a lot of comments about different improvements that could be made. Uh, and the creator is doing lots of things already. This is the second version released in a couple of weeks. So there's plenty of scope for making improvements to this. If you get some suggestions, let him know, let us know. And let's make this an even better database. It's already fantastic. We're looking through League 8 now to see who's won. Uh, any clubs that jump out, uh, let us know in the comments if some some things that I've missed. So uh, we've plenty of non-English teams basically winning uh, when you get through to League 8, which is really good. Uh, so there you have it. That is the Global Super League database. Uh, let us know if you tried it out in the comments down below. And also, check out this video. It's great.